have a big one on the horn for you tonight. It's Ford Hill Allegheny 2 here at Ford Hill High School in a rematch of an earlier season knockdown drag out fight where Allegheny was able to hold on and outlast the Sentinels by a 73 to 60 margin. Tonight the WMAC is on the line. Home playoff are on the line and both of these teams so desperately if nothing else the rivalry between both of them whether it be on the gridiron or on the hardwood each team circles these two games year in and year out hi everyone this is garrett higgin bringing you bonus basketball coverage of ford hill allegheny two as i mentioned the campers taking on the sentinels campers won their first matchup at allegheny it was a standing room only crowd where the fire marshal who was also in attendance here tonight had to start turning people away but tonight at Ford Hill same crowd standing room only and should be a good one as the 15 and 4 campers take on the 16 and 2 Sentinels Sentinels two losses are an earlier season loss to Berlin and then their loss to Allegheny and for Allegheny one of their more recent losses was a knockdown drag out fight down at Clear Spring Let's take a look at the starting fives. First for the traveling campers, Isaiah Fields, who averages 12.8 points a game. Number 13, Blake Powell. Number 15, Caden Corpenning, who is simply the grease of the wheels, averaging 16.2 points per game. Caden Bratt, number 23, and Chaz Imes, who brings his 14.7 points per game prowess into this matchup. Allegheny in their traveling blue uniforms and Fort Hill wearing their home white uniforms with red numbers. Should be a good one here. Ford Hill starting five being announced. You have to start with Mikey Allen, who garnered so much Division I looks when he played at Bishop Walsh, had an offer to the University of Maine. Instead, he will continue his college career, his athletic career, and his academic career at Southern Utah and play for Delane Fitzgerald. Then you have number five, Owen Seifreth, 14.8 points a game. Mikey averaging 22.6. For the Sentinels, number 14, Deshaun Brown, as well as Anthony Burns, Steven Spencer, and as I mentioned, Mikey Allen. So the starting fives out on the floor. This should be a good one, plain and simple. Wall-to-wall -wall crowd in this game. And plain and simple, folks, this is the one that everyone circled on their schedules after their first meeting and how badly these two teams fought in their earlier matchup. We're going to take a pause and come back with a tip-off here from Fort Hill High School, Allegheny, Fort Hill. Let's take a look at the starting fives for each. Last matchup between these two teams was a 73-60 win in favor of Allegheny in a standing room only crowd up on Haystack Mountain where the fire marshal had to plain and simple start turning people away. It's Isaiah Fields, Blake Powell, Caden Corpainting, Caden Bratton, and Chaz Imes, your five for a big blue. And for big red, Mike Allen, Anthony Burns, 
Owen Seifert, Deshaun Brown, and Steven Spencer. Biggs in the center, sir, going to be Corp Penning jumping off against Seifert. Ball's up in the air, and we are underway. Chaz Imes with the opening possession here in a standing room only crowd. Ball to the right to field, drives to the elbow, kicks low, nobody home, turnover Allegheny, and it'll be Ford Hill basketball. 7.48 to play, opening quarter action, ball into Mikey Allen. Allen, a standout star at Bishop Walsh, decided to play his senior season, win a state championship, and hopes to do the same for the Fort Hill basketball team. He is already signed, sealed, and delivered at Southern Utah to play football in the fall. Ball over to Brown, kicks it to Seifert. Seifert, little show and go, out to Allen, eight to shoot. He's going to use the dribble. Head fake where the ball go, drives in, kicks low to Brown, three to shoot, ball's got to go up, Brown, step back, fade away, won't go, long rebound, Chaz Ines has it, and Allegheny gets a stop, Alec goes to Bratton, Bratton up ahead to Corpenning, Corpenning drives, spins, kicks over to Bratton, one more for Ines, head fake on the three, drives in to the elbow, finds Bratton, who kicks one more into the corner, the three is there for Blake Powell, big three, and Blake Powell off the dime of Caden Bratton, We'll open up the scoring here. Allegheny leads three to nothing. Ball over to Allen. They pop out Burns. Burns looking for Brown. Good defense from the campers. Man to man defense thus far. Burns, backdoor cut, finds Brown. Brown tried to kick low. That ball stolen by Caden Corpenning his first. Outlet up ahead to Zay Fields. Zay stepped through off the window is there. Isaiah Fields with his first bucket, and it's a 5-0 start with a steal in the backcourt. Caden Bratton off the window. 7-0. Campers lead by a touchdown. Spencer with the basketball. Outlet goes to Mikey Allen. Allen guarded by Blake Powell. Asked for a screen. Between his legs, step back three, not there. Swings it over to Burns. Anthony, back to Brown. 13 to show, no look pass in, and a nice find, nice feed. Assist to Sean Brown and Steve Spencer with a bucket as we get a whistle and a timeout for Dill. We'll take the timeout with him with 5.57 to play in the opening quarter. Allegheny leads 7-2. Welcome back, Fort Hill, Allegheny 2, winner of this game will have home playoff seedings for the foreseeable future, will win a Western Mac title, and of course the bragging rights, if Allegheny were to win, they'd sweep Fort Hill on the season, Fort Hill were to win, they'd even up the score after that 73-60 Allegheny win about a month ago up at Haystack Mountain to a sold out Standing room only crowd. Ball to Isaiah Fields, gonna get away from Spencer. Drives to the elbow, kicks low to Powell. Powell out to the perimeter of Corpenning. Sets his feet, the three. Back iron won't go. Bodies crash and a good rebound for Deshaun Brown. Alec goes to Spencer. Spencer kicks low to Seifert. The cutter, or the trailer looking for Allen. Ball's on the floor, bodies with it. Ball's still loose, it squirts to Allen. Right to the rack and off the window, it's there. Mikey Allen with his first bucket, cuts the Allegheny lead down to three. 7-4 and Caden Bratton will set up the set up shop here in their front court. Ball to court penning, backdoor cut. Nice find to Isaiah Fields. Fields with a bucket, his second. And Core Penning with a beautiful dime. His first to go along with a steal. Allegheny leads 9-4. 504 to play. Allen top of the key. Wants the five, the three. It will not go. Bodies crash. Seifert has it. Good rebound by Owen. He'll dribble around the perimeter, look for his point guard, finds it in Allen. Allen drives in, ball's kicked around, poked around, now to Cypher. Cypher in the paint, turnaround, fadeaway, rattles and falls for Owen Cypher. Rebound and a bucket, and just like that, a quick 4-0 run for the Sentinels have them back in business. They trail by three. 4.33 to play here in this opening quarter. Pass gets stolen by Burns. Burns will cross the vision line. Stop, pop, calls back, and it's there. Anthony Burns with a steal. Anthony Burns with a bucket, and it's a one-point game. 4.19 to play. Allegheny clutching to that lead. Fields drives in. A lot of contact, no call. Ball squirts out and able to run it down as Owen Seifert, his first. Allen comes to Allen. Allen drives, kicks. Spencer's three in the corner. Bang! 
Steven Spencer with a three, Mikey Allen with a fine. And just like that, coming roaring back, the Sentinels have the lead 11-9. 3.53 to play. Isaiah Fields, top of the key. Looking for Court Penning, left wing. They get it to him. 15 to shoot, returns it back to Fields. Hands it off to Bratton. They'll set up their offense here. Nine to shoot. Bratton threads it down low to Court Penning. Too hot to handle. Turnover Allegheny. Fort Hill basketball. They are red hot and big red here on a big run. With 3.36 to play in the opening quarter. Ball into Owen Seifreth, up ahead to Allen. Allen will bring the ball up, man-to-man -man defense from the Sentinels, uses the screen for Seifreth, continues down. A lot of contact, no call. Ball's loose, Bratton has the rebound. Two on two in transition. Bratton rattles and falls in. Caden Bratton with four, and a board and a dime, as it's an 11-11 ball game. 3.08 to play, opening quarter action. Spencer drives down, left hand, a lot of contact, not called. Ball's loose, easy rebound for Caden Corpenning, his first. Up ahead to Fields, Fields trying to create, throws one up in the paint, a lot of contact, they're gonna let him play, but Isaiah Fields with a quick six. And Allegheny returns the lead to their side of the scoreboard, they lead 13-11. 2.45 to play. Allen using a screen. Pick and pop, not there. Allen wants to go baseline. Drives, a lot of contact. We get a whistle and a blocking foul against Isaiah Fields, his first. And Mikey Allen will go to the line to shoot two. Allen averaging 22.6 points per game this season. It's good enough for the distinction of a walking bucket. 13-11, his first, misses front iron. Checking into the game, Taven Willis. You talk about Fort Hill synonymous with the big red banners, state championship banners on the end wall here at Fort Hill High School. And synonymous with the football program, our D1 looks. Taven Willis has plenty of them as Allen misses both. And a rebound by Chaz Imes, up ahead to Fields. Drives, contorts, it won't go. Ball's poked around, poked out, and Fields will run it down. For his first rebound, they get a fresh 30. Fields drives to the elbow, spins. Nice play, draws a foul, and he'll go to the line to shoot two. 2.21 to play, Allegheny holding court on the road, 13-11. They beat Ford Hill by 13 at Allegheny, but the first matchup was a lot like this one. Back and forth early, each team going on runs. So the fouls charge to Taven Willis, his first, and Fields makes the front end of this two-shot foul. He's got seven early. Powell will get a breather, and checking into the game is David Smith. 2.21 to play. Fields buries both. He's got eight. It's a four-point ball game, 15-11, and Steven Spencer will cross the timeline and work to the top of the key. Pass out to Allen, uses the screen, pick and roll ball to Willis, one more for Spencer. Runs down the basketball, 15 to shoot, ball top of the key to Allen. Nice defense from Smith, Allen's gonna try and get away from him, he does, step through off the window, it's just that easy. Mikey Allen with four, cuts that deficit down to two and Burns has a steal in the backcourt and a bucket. Tie ball game, 15 all. Anthony Burns with two steals and two buckets and some nice ball work up the other way. Poked out of bounds. Last touch by Willis. And it'll stay Cambers basketball with an inbounds play coming underneath their own hoop with a minute 41 to play here in this opening quarter. 20 to shoot. Ball at the disposal of Bratton. Bratton's got Smith out. Ball's got to go in. It does all the way into the backcourt. David Smith will run it down. Cross the division line. 17 to shoot and work on Willis. Swings it over to Imes. Imes gets away from his man, drives to the elbow, stepped through, left hand, missed it. Rebound by Owen Seifert, that's his second. Outlet goes to Allen. Minute 26 to play, Allen, nice find, drives in and draws a foul. Mikey Allen will go to the line to shoot two as the fouls charge to David Smith, his first, team second. Allen's second trip to the charity stripe in this game. He's over two thus far, but he's done it from the field with two buckets and an assist. And down by, at one point, down by two. It's now a tied ball game, 15-15, and Allen splashes the first. Checking back into the game is Blake Powell, and returning to the game from Fort Hill to Sean Brown. 
giving Steven Spencer a breather. Allen makes both. Seventeen fifteen, Fort Hill leads. Minute sixteen to play. Ball out to Fields. Fields left wing, bounce pass down to Corpenning, draws a double team. Ball back out to Isaiah. Fields spins from the elbow, drives down, a lot of contact, no call. Rebound by Brown, his second. Alec comes up ahead to Allen. He'll cross the timeline. Step back, deep three, side iron won't go, long rebound. Chaz Imes has his second. No call off the dogs and up ahead to Day Day Smith. Bounce pass back to Corpenning. Missed it. Corpenning fighting for the offensive rebound, but Mike Allen has his first. And up ahead to Taven Willis. Willis will not go. Day Day Smith with a rebound. That's his first. Outlet comes to Fields. Fields in transition. 35 to shoot. Shot up top gets blocked by Seifreth. And now up the other way, Ford Hill with a leak out. It's Owen Seifreth with the bucket. Four points for Seifreth with two rebounds, a steal, and a block. And in transition, ball knocked out of bounds. Allegheny with the turnover. 19.9 to play. Ford Hill now with a four-point lead, 19-15. As Anthony Burns will get a breather. Or no, actually, he's going to throw in the basketball. My mistake, 19.9, 19-15. Ford Hill with the lead, coming roaring back. Pop out Burns, now down to Cypher. Returns it to Allen, sets his feet. The three splashes! Mikey Allen with a three. He's caught fire here as we get a whistle and a timeout for Allegheny with three seconds left in this opening quarter. Allegheny tra trails Fort Hill 22 15. We'll be back after this. Three seconds left here in this opening quarter. Ford Hill coming roaring back from an early deficit. They lead by seven, 22 to 15. Allegheny with the final possession of this quarter. Three seconds left, ball to disposal, Blake Powell. They're gonna pick for Bratton, ball goes into Bratton. It's gotta go up, Bratton, runner from behind the arc, in and out, no good. And at the end of one, Ford Hill leads by seven, 22 to 15. Second quarter action set to start here. Ford Hill out of the timeout, off the bench, lead by seven, 22 to 15 after an early deficit and Allegheny coming firing out defensively and offensively. Ford Hill comes roaring back behind the nine points of Mikey Allen, five from Steve Spencer and four a pop from Burns and Seifreth. Allegheny, Isaiah Fields leads in scoring with eight, four from Caden Bratton and three from Blake Powell. Steal by Corpenning up the other way. Pass up ahead to Imes. Imes contorts, gets fouled, and he'll go to the line to shoot two. Imes with two rebounds in that early first quarter. He averages 14.7 points per game and will go to the line with 7.49 in the first possession after a steal from Corpenning to shoot two. Corpenning's second steal of this game. Imes settles and buries the first. Himes is from a long lineage of athletes. Plenty of older brothers who have bled big blue for many years. It's just continuing the tradition. He makes both. Himes with two and two. 22-17. Fordio leads and has the possession. 7.43 to play. Allen crosses the division line. Pick and roll not there. Swings it over to Brown. Free for three. Fires this one long. Corpenning has the rebound. Nearly has it stolen by Willis. Pass up ahead to Bratton. Bratton finds over to Fields. Returns to Bratton. 23 to shoot. Now we're over to Imes. Imes closely guarded by Willis. Has baseline if he wants it. Drives just inside the arc. And the leaner splashes good for Chaz Imes. He's got four here in this second quarter alone. 
And Anthony Burns will bring the ball up the floor as the Sentinels lead. Cut down to three on a 4-0 Allegheny run. Willis drives to the elbow, gives up the dribble, swings it over to Allen. Switch on defense, now 15 to shoot. Scott Brown to his left, Willis to his right, bounce pass to Seifert, has baseline, he's gonna work on court penning, but travels, turn over Ford Hill, and Steve Spencer will check into the game to give Willis a breather with 6.54 to play. Isaiah Fields with eight points in this game early, all in the first quarter. But here in this second quarter, it's been the Chaz I'm show, two freebies and a bucket from the field. Nice find back toward to Fields. Waits, draws the foul, misses the shot, but Isaiah will shoot two. Foul charge to Blake Powell, his first. Team second. Fields will shoot two. In and out, misses the first. 6.43 to play here in this second quarter. Winner of this game wins a West Mac title. Winner of this game will have home court advantage for the foreseeable future in the postseason. Fields misses the second. Nice close down box out from Owen Seifert. That's his third rebound of this game. 6.35 to play. Allen wants to drive. Finger roll, draws a foul on Bratton. And Mikey Allen will go back to the line to shoot two. And Bratton picks up the personal. Allen has been to the line twice in this game. He's got nine points. He's two of four from the line. Traditionally an outside shooter, but he is also one that uses that agility and that speed to get to the ba basket very, very quickly. Makes the first. He's in a double figures with 10. David Willis returns, giving Deshaun Brown a breather. Brown with an assist and two boards, all in that first period. Allen misses the second. Corpenning with the rebound. That's his third. Allen goes to Bratton. Bratton crosses the division line. Drives in. Kicks out. I'm set three. In and out. Won't go. Fields crashes in. Last touched by Allegheny. Fort Hill basketball with 6.24 to play. 23-19. Fort Hill holding on to the lead here at home. It was a 13-point loss at Allegheny last time these two teams got together. So much more to play for than just bragging rights in a win or a loss. Seifert went to drive but travels. Turn over and Allegheny will get the ball back here with 6-10 to play in this second quarter as both teams starting to show a little bit of fatigue. Some sloppy play from both squads have piled it up in the pastry department. Pass over to Imes. Drives and they say he traveled. So back to back to back travels. Gives Fort Hill the ball back. With a four-point lead, 23 to 19, 10 from Allen, five from Spencer, four to pop from Burns and Seifert. Allen will bring the ball up the floor, six to play here in the second period. Drops it down to Seifert, returns it to Allen, head pick on the three, draws a double team, tried to thread it inside and a steal by Blake Powell. That's his first to Bratton. No look pass, looks off his man, missed it point blank. Steve Spencer with a rebound. Spencer down in the corner, keeps the dribble, draws a double team, threads it back to Willis. And with 5.38, it's a four-point game, and Fort Hill, with a four-point lead, has the possession. Turnaround shot from Seifert, off the mark. Rebound by Fields. He'll cross the timeline. Fields wants to go baseline, drives, a lot of contact, and a foul. Isaiah Fields will go to the line to shoot two, as it is a block call on Fort Hill. And I believe that Seifert is first. 5.23 to play. Isaiah Fields was perfect from the line in the first period. However, here in the second quarter, he missed both of his previous free throws. He retools and misses another. Back into the game for Fort Hill. Number four, Tony Palmisano, who will continue his athletic and academic careers at Frostburg State University. Lockdown defender on both the gridiron and the hardwood. Fields makes one of two on this trip. He's got nine. It's a three-point game, 23 to 20, 5-19 to play. Fort Hill with the possession and the lead. Allen, top of the key, he's going to ask for a screen from Willis. Drives to the right between his legs. Keeps his man on skates over to Willis. Bounce pass into the corner to Burns. Burns out to Palmisano. Swings it over to Burns. Sets his feet. Fires the three. Rattles around. It will not go. Caden Corpenning, rebound number four, and the outlet comes across the division line to Brett. 
Bratton will use the dribble here. Finds it to Fields. Fields, trailer three, won't go. He comes crashing in for the rebound and will foul Mikey Allen. So Fields picks up the personal. That's his second. And Fort Hill with his three-point lead and kind of a lull in action between these two teams. is just fine with milking this clock. As Allegheny will do some substituting and Dylan Schaefer checks into the game for coach Teddy Eric. 4.43 to play. Allen will bring the ball across the timeline. Uses a screen, drives in, contorts, scoop shot won't go. Good defense from the Sentinels. It squirts out ahead to Imes. Imes to Powell. Powell drives down, tries to kick low to Schaefer. Powell able to run it down and will draw a foul on Steve Spencer. As with 4.28 to play, the personals and the team fouls are really starting to pile up here. And Allegheny will have the possession. Ball into the backcourt to Caden Bratton. 4.27 to go here in this second quarter just before recess. It's been a close game between these two teams. Ball to Powell at the elbow. Kicks it back to Bratton. Bratton drives. Looking low for Schaefer. He's able to run it down. Calls bank. That won't go. Taven Willis with the rebound. His first of the game. Outlet goes to Mikey. 4.09 to play. He'll cross the timeline. Till Burns to come up. Hand off to Anthony. Dribbles top of the key over to Palmazano. Palmazano top of the key between his legs. Swings over to Willis. Willis looking down though. Swings it to Palmazano. Returns it out to the perimeter to Mikey. Back out to Taven. Willis drives. Left hand. A lot of contact. And two shots coming for Taven Willis as the foul is going to get charged to Dylan Schaefer, his first. 3.52 to play here in this second period. A hot start for both teams in the first quarter. Second quarter started out that way. But since then, it's been turnovers, fouls, free throws. And Willis misses the first. Owen Seiferth returns, giving Palmazano a breather. 3.52 to play. Winner of this game will host playoff games for the foreseeable future. Second one from Willis, misses it. Seiferth comes in for the rebound. He has it, goes up with it. Putback is there for Owen Seiferth. Seiferth with four rebounds, six points, and the lead's up to five. Fort Hill at home, holding court. Ball to Powell. He's going to drive, draw a double team. Ball into Schaefer. Schaefer challenged, won't go. Rebound put back is there for Caden Corpenning. Corpenning, his first bucket to go with his five rebound steal, two steals and an assist. Cuts that lead for Fort Hill down to three. Spencer working past Schaefer, continues down, throws one up, it won't go. Ball out to the perimeter, rebound number three for Imes. Imes wants to go coast to coast, gets blocked up top by Owen Seifreth. Seifreth did a good job of falling back not to get the foul called, and his long arm reached out and up and came up with a block as Palmazana returns, and Steve Spencer checks back into the game. Still a three-point contest, ball at the disposal of Caden Bratton underneath the Allegheny hoop. Ball into Powell. Powell over to Bratton, 3.09 to play. 22 to shoot. Bratton has his dribble. He'll use that. Swings it over to Corpenning. Sets his feet. Fires. The three won't go. Mikey Allen with his second rebound. He'll come up the floor with a three-point lead and cross the division line. Works on Powell. Between his legs to the elbow. Nice find inside to Palmazano. That gets blocked up top by Corpenning. Putback, however, is there for Tony Palmazano. Rebound and the putback as the Sentinels return their lead to 5-27-22. Powell drives, kicks to the elbow, Corpenning just inside the arc, splash good for Caden Corpenning. Four points, two steals, five rebounds, he's had a night. And cuts it to within three, Allen drives, draws a foul, and he'll go to the line to shoot two more with 2.27 to play. We'll check the foul here. So I believe it's on Powell. Now if it is on Powell, that should be his second. 2.27 to play. Allen will shoot two. Misses the first. Mikey with 10 points, two rebounds, and an assist. At the line, he's three of seven. Misses the second. Rebound by Caden Corpenning. That's his sixth. Allegheny down by three, 27-24. Bratton crosses the timeline over to Imes. 
Pass nearly gets stolen. Corpenning runs it down. Threads it back to Powell. Powell top of the key to Imes. He's got one more over in the corner. Gets it to Powell. Sets his feet. Fires. Three-pointer back iron won't go. Good rebound and a box out from Cypher. That's his fifth board. Up ahead to Palmazano. Drives in. Away from the contact. And Anthony Palmazano has the bucket here. And Fort Hill returns the lead up to five. Pass out to Bratton. Bratton down low to Powell. Looking down on the block. He'll use the dribble. Bounce pass to Corpenning. Ten to shoot. Turns. Fires. Back iron won't go. Rebound number three for Mikey Allen. He'll cross the timeline here. 26 to shoot. Minute 34 to play. Has baseline. Drives. Misses the shot point blank. But off of an Allegheny player baseline. And Fort Hill will have an inbounds play coming underneath their own hoop. With a five point lead in a minute 29 to play in this first half. Ball at the disposal of Burns. He's got Willis to his left. They're going to screen for Allen. Ball into Mikey. Returns it out to Taven. One more for Palmazano. Over to Burns. Sets his feet. The three. Splash! Good! Anthony Burns buries a big one, and it's now an eight-point lead. 32-24. Big shot. Bratton, top of the key. Over to Powell. Allegheny needs an answer. They drive in, and we get a whistle and a travel against the campers as both teams have really suffered in turning the ball over, but with an eight-point deficit, these turnovers for Allegheny definitely becoming more and more costly. As head coach Eric pleading with his team to tighten it up. Inside of a minute here in this second period, using a screen from Willis, Mikey down in the corner, sets his feet, fires on the three, back iron. Palmazano's put back, he gets fouled. No call, gets a second rebound, and they work it out along the perimeter. Free 30 to shoot. Burns to Seifert, has the dribble, poked away by Imes, returns it out, top of the key, near the division line to Willis. Two rebounds for Palmazano in this front court possession. He's got three total. Speaking of Tony, ball to him, now to Willis, drives in, the runner rattles, will not go, ball's loose, Seifert muscles one up and in and good, oh and Seifert is having a night. He's got eight and six and it's a 10 point ball game with 19 seconds to play. Bounce pass to Court Penning. Tried to thread it inside down to the block. Kick save and a beauty from Taven Willis. As Day Day Smith will check into the game for the campers, giving Dylan Schaefer a breather with 16 seconds left. Ball at the disposal of Court Penning underneath their own hoop. Looking for Bratton. Threads it out top of the key to Caden. Turns back to Court Penning. Step through. A lot of contact. Looked like he got body. Day Day Smith pokes it out. And now it's slapped back out. Back to Court Penning. Little give and go. Missed it point blank. Taven Willis, rebound number two. Allen goes to Burns, one second left. He's gotta go up and it does it. And at halftime, it's a 10 point ball game. Fort Hill holding court at home, 34-24 here in the rematch. Fort Hill, Allegheny two, with Fort Hill home seatings and the West Mac title on the line. Welcome back at recess. It's Ford Hill at home holding a comfortable 10 point lead over Crosstown rival Allegheny 34 to 24. Let's take a look at the first half scoring. Mikey Allen leading the charge for the Sentinels. 10 points. Owen Seifrith, 8.6 rebounds. Seven from Anthony Burns and five from Steve Spencer. For Allegheny, nine from Isaiah Fields. Four apiece from Bratton, Corpenning, and Imes, and three for Blake Powell. Should be the same starting fives for each team coming out of the locker room and out off of their bench, rather, as the second quarter was not friendly to Allegheny or Fort Hill, with plenty of turnovers as well as missed free throws and shot attempts. So we'll have to see if both teams can shake off the rust. First quarter was red hot between these two teams. It was a back and forth game. But that second quarter provided a lull, which Fort Hill has used to their advantage, leading by 10 out of the locker room. Action here at Fort Hill. Just a reminder, this is a game that has so many different additives to them. Team's not just playing for pride. They're also playing for a West Mac title, and they're playing for home court advantage for the foreseeable future in the postseason. 
Allegheny will have the opening possession here in the third period. We are underway. Ball in to Caden Bratton. 7.55 to play. The pass gets stolen by Seifrith. Up the other way. In and good for Owen Seifrith. He's got another steal and now into double figures. Leads up to 12 and Seifrith has 10. Bounce pass over to Imes. Closely guarded by Allen. Uses a screen. Pick and roll not there. Finds the cutter to Corpenning. Drives in. Off the window. Will not go. Rebound by Blake Powell. Throws it back into Corpenning. Corpenning trying to muscle it up. Could have been a jump ball. Not called. And Steve Spencer comes up with a rebound and a big board at that for Big Red as they come up the other way. Ball to Brown. Looks off the pass. The three splashes to Sean Brown. Big triple. And now it's a 15-point game in favor of the Sentinels here at home. Bounce pass to Corpenning. Backdoor cut for Fields. Not there. Corpenning will drive. Gets pickpocketed by Burns. Burns up the other way. He's going to get challenged by Powell. Off the window. Not there. Rebound by Spencer. Tries to throw it out to the perimeter, but stolen by Imes, who will draw a foul on to Sean Brown. 6.55 to play. It's a 15-point game. It was 10 at half and a quick 5-0 start for the Sentinels here off a three from Brown and a two from Seifrith. Seifrith with a steal. Anthony Burns with a steal to open up the action. And Allegheny still showing that second quarter rust here early on. Ball to Fields. Drives in. Stop. Pop. Rattles. Will not go. Fields gives chase. Should have been off of Burns, so I'm not sure about that call, but Fort Hill's going to get away with one and get the basketball back with some full court pressure on. Ball at the disposal of Seifrith. Gets the ball into Allen, 39-24, 6.40 to play. Allen will walk the ball up the floor, closely guarded by Powell, swings it over to Spencer. He's got Seifert down on one block, pass out to Brown, had a three just a moment ago, returns it over to Spencer, 17 to shoot. Now the ball to the charity stripe to Seifert. Has it used the dribble or got off his pivot foot? He'll do both, swing it over to Burns. Burns looking for a backdoor cut, keeps the dribble, drops it back to Seifert. Seifert has Burns in the corner, using the dribble, stop, pops it back three with three to shoot, won't go. Caden Bratton with the rebound. His second, outlet up ahead to Imes, off the window, it's there. Chaz Imes with six, and with 6.05 to play, it's now a 13-point game, 39-26. to 26. Allen, right wing, he's got baseline if he wants. It drives to the heart, finger roll, step through, it's pretty. And Mikey Allen now at 12, returns the lead up to 16. Corpenning on the leak out, finger roll up the other way. Caden Corpenning with six to go with six rebounds. As the two, two teams are going to start trading twos, and it's still a 13-point Fort Hill advantage. 41-28. to 28. Allen using the dribble, working on Bratton, gives up the dribble, pass out to Burns. Burns drives in, continues, throws one up and off the window. It's there for Anthony Burns, now with nine. 15-point ball game once again. Top of the key, ball to Bratton, 5-17 here in this third period. Ball over to Imes, they switch on defense, now a pickpocket, and Mikey Allen has the steal, and in transition, lays it in good. Allen with the steal, his first, he's got 14, averaging 22.6 per game, and Coach Eric wants to take a timeout, we'll take it with him. With 5.03 to play in the third period, it's Fort Hill leading big at home, 45-28. three to play here in this third period. Fort Hill with a comfortable lead by 17, 45-28. Allegheny took the timeout and will come out of the timeout with the possession. Bounce pass to Fields, returns the top of the key to Bratton. Bratton jab step, drives in, kicks low to Powell. Powell show and go, turns, fires from five, it won't go. Rebound by Anthony Burns, his first. Outlet up ahead to Seifrith, has Spencer down on the block. He'll use the dribble, drive to the elbow, spin. Kicks back to Spencer, Spencer to the elbow, and will curl back with 19 to shoot, getting the ball to Allen. Allen over to Burns, drives, kicks out to Spencer. And they'll spread the floor here, 10 to shoot. Ball to Allen, 4.26 to play. It's a 17-point game, 5 to shoot. Asks for a screen, drives just inside the arc. Stop, pop, splash! 
for Mikey Allen. He's got 16. It's a 19 point ball game. Allegheny crosses the division line, gets the ball to Fields. He'll drive in, we get a whistle, no shot. So wave off the basket, it's a foul on the floor. And it'll be an Allegheny possession and inbounds play coming underneath their own hoop with Taven Willis returning to the game. Four oh eight to play, ball up to the top of the key to Iim, swings it over to Corpenning, head fake on the three, drives, spins, draws a double team, stepped through a lot of contact, no call, and a good rebound from Anthony Burns, it's his second in as many attempts. Outlet goes to Allen, inside of four, transition three, smash, good, Mikey Allen with a big three, he is red hot, 19 for Allen, as Zay Fields coast to coast off the window with the answer. Fields with 11. It's a 20 point ball game, 50 to 30. Ball up ahead to Allen. He'll curl back and work on Imes. Draws a double team with Fields. So he gets held from behind and a whistle called against Allegheny. And they'll call it on Imes. His first. 333 to play. Foul on number 33. The threes are wild. Ball in to David Willis. Swings it over to Seiferth. Out to Allen. Hit pick on the three. He'll use the dribble. Asks for a screen from Seifert, uses the pick, top of the key, freeze, fires and splashes it! Mikey Allen is red hot on fire! 22 for Allen, because he's nearly got his quota on this season per game, and on the drive, Bratton gets fouled, he'll go to the line to shoot two. Foul charge, charge to Owen Seifert, that's his second. 53 to 30, Mikey Allen in this period, has three twos, two threes, Partridge in a pear tree, 22. Bratton misses the first, Allen averaging 22.6 points per game. As Bratton will settle in and retool here after missing the first. Bratton with four, three rebounds and an assist. And with 3.12 to play, Bratton second, he splashes good. Bratton with five. Lead still stands at 22, and with 3-10 to play in the third period, Allegheny's going to have to start coming up with stops, if nothing else, trying to slow down Mikey Allen, who in this quarter has 12. Top of the key, Allen asks for a screen. Pick and roll not there. This ball gets stolen by Fields. Up the other way, Isaiah gets blocked from behind by Seifreth. Nice help defense from behind on the trailer from Seifreth. As he knocks the ball out of bounds, it'll be an inbounds play coming for Big Blue under their hoop. And Caden Bratton, rather Caden Corpenning, will be at the disposal. 2.53 to play, ball to Corpenning. Throws it out to Bratton. Top of the key, 24 to shoot. They set a screen for Imes. Now over to Powell. Powell wants to go baseline, drives in, kicks down low to Imes. Imes trying to muscle it up, draw the foul. Misses the shot, but he'll go to the line to shoot two. Where Ford Hill has found a way to hit shots from the perimeter that are worth three, Allegheny has gotten to the line, but hasn't been able to finish and create three-point plays. Rather, just free throws as Ives in this game with six points. Will shoot two, makes the first. Ives with seven in this game, three rebounds. And will settle in to shoot the second here with 2.42 to play. Fort Hill leading 53-32. I'm settles for the second, rattles around, won't go. Owen Seifreth with the board to seven of this game. He's got 10 and seven, flirting with a double-double. Ball up ahead to Burns. Burns closely guarded by Powell, nearly had it poked away. Ball over to Spencer, draws a double team, and head coach Thad Burner wants to take a timeout, a 30-second timeout, we'll take it with him. 2.28 to play in the third period. Fort Hill still leads, 53-32. Twenty-eight to play, third quarter action. 
Ford Hill holding court here at home, 53 to 32. Mikey Allen, 12 points in this quarter alone. He's got 22, leading score for the Sentinels. He's got the basketball top of the key. Drops it to Willis, 12 to shoot. Out to Burns, tries to hand it off to Spencer. Now swings it over to Willis, drives in, kicks low. Now out to Burns. Front iron won't go, gets his own rebound, goes up with it, but that's poked away by Imes. Give Imes credit for the steal. Outlet up ahead to Powell, who gets fouled. And the foul charge to Fort Hill. And Allegheny will maintain possession with 2.09 to play. Caden Bratton will bring the ball up the floor. He's got Powell and Imes to his right. Ball to Imes, looks down low to Powell. He's got baseline if he wants it. Drives, kicks into the paint to Corpenning. Skyhook won't go, and Seifreth has yet another rebound. He's now got 10 and 8. Getting closer to that double-double, outlet goes to Allen. Minute 50 to play, still a 21-point game. 53-32, Allen to the elbow, swings it back to Willis. He thought Tavins was going to zig, and instead Tavins zagged. Out of bounds, Day-Day Smith returns, giving Caden Corpenning a breather in this game. He's got six points, six rebounds. Minute 43 to play, Caden Bratton will bring the ball up the floor. He's got Fields to his left, Imes to his right, Swings it over to Fields, back to Bratton. 22 to shoot, uses the dribble between his legs, drives in, nice play. It won't go, however, and Seifreth has rebound number nine. Outlet to Allen, minute 27 here in this third period. Spencer to his right, Burns to his left. He goes with the ladder. Ball to Anthony, they send Spencer through. Burns keeps it, out to Willis. Willis, back over to Burns. Spencer to his right, Allen top of the key, they swing it to Mikey. 10 to shoot, over to Spencer, nine to shoot. Calling for a screen, gets the pick, they stay on defense, Spencer behind his back, three to shoot, ball's got to go up, it does with Cypher, three-pointer won't go, fresh 30, but Caden Bratton gets the stop on the defensive glass, and in transition, drives, misses it point blank, and Owen Cypher now with a double-double, grabbing his 10th rebound. Outlet goes to Allen, Mikey wants to drive, kicks low to Spencer, off the window, it's there for Steve Spencer. Spencer with seven. Up the other way, a steal by Anthony Burns. It's his fourth of this game. And returns it to Mikey Allen. It's a 23 point game, 30 seconds left here in the third period as the entry pass gets stolen by Blake Powell. And Allegheny has a 3 0 1 up the other way. Bounce pass to Day Day. Gets poked away by Steven Spencer. Now, shot clock is off, and Spencer works in transition. Over in the corner, the three, in and out, no good. Seifrit, put back. Won't go, ball's loose, still on the floor, knocked out of bounds. Referees say stay here, Fort Hill basketball. Owen Seifrith with 11 rebounds in this game to go with his 10 points. Steve Spencer with a theft down on defense. 10 to play here, final possession of this third period. Who else? They're gonna give it to Allen. Step back, three, bang! Allen! His fourth three, he's got 25. And at the end of three, Fort Hill running away with this one. 58-32, fourth quarter coming up next. Quarter action set to begin. West Mac title on the line. Home court advantage for the foreseeable future on the line. And through three quarters of play, Fort Hill has come to do just that. Starting into this fourth quarter, Mikey Allen with 25, 9 from Burns, 10 and 11 from Owen Seifert, 3 from Deshaun Brown, 7 from Steve Spencer, 2 from Taven Willis. And for the campers, 11 from Isaiah Field, 6 from Caden Corpenning. Five and seven the other way as we get a whistle on the entry pass and a foul charged to Allegheny. Seven for Chaz Imes, five for Caden Bratton to finish my thought there. Ball at the disposal of Palmazano. It's Allen, Palmazano, Burns, Jabril Daniels. 
Seifrith, your five on the floor for Fort Hill. 7.48 to play. Palmazano works to the top of the key. They send ben Burns through. Palmazano drives down. A lot of contact. He'll shoot two. So the fouls charged to Allegheny. And I believe Day Day Smith will pick up his second of this game. Sending Anthony Palmazano, we know him as Tony, to the line to shoot two. He will continue his academic and athletic career at Frostburg State in the fall. Lockdown defender on the outside. Misses the front end of this two-shot foul. Seven forty-one in this fourth period. A nice contingent of a who's who in Cumberland here. Fort Hill and Allegheny alums as Palmazano misses the second rebound by Day Day. They come up the other way, but the pass gets stolen down low by Seifrith. And up the other way, Mikey Allen's three. Looked like he got body to the floor, no good. Isaiah Fields with the rebound, Alec goes to Bratton. Bratton drives, tries to kick low. I think that was touched, and it was by Seifrith. So it'll stay Allegheny basketball underneath their own hoop with 7.20 to play and Fort Hill here at home leading 58 to 32. Ball at the disposal of Bratton, they screen for Imes, not there. It's gotta go in and it does to Schaefer. He gets fouled up top by Seifrith and Dylan Schaefer will go to the line to shoot a pair. 58-32, 7.18 to play. You have to feel like the deck is stacked against Allegheny on the road with a 26-point deficit. Wilder things have happened, but it all starts with every single possession, and we'll find out very soon if Allegheny is able to get some stops and turn the tide here in this final period. Allegheny has not shot their usual percentage from the field, from the line. Turnovers have been a real big key as well. As Schaefer goes one of two and cuts it down to 35, or rather 25. Pass out by Imes, gets poked away. Seifert lands and ends up on the seat of his pants. Could have been a foul on Imes, but wasn't called. 7-11 to play, 58-33. Fourth period action. Ball into Allen. He'll cross the timeline, hands it off to Palmazano. He drives, kicks over to Daniels. Backdoor cut, not there. Returns it out to Allen, into the corner to Burns. Turns, faces, head fake, out to Allen. 10 to shoot here. Swings it over to Palmazano, looking down low for Seifert. Bounce pass to Owen. Poked away by Caden Bratton. He comes up the other way. Broughton, bass, bounce pass to Day Day Smith. But return to sender by Anthony Burns. Big block up top for Tony Burns. And again, Allegheny just cannot get anything going here despite some stout defense, but it just seems like the ball will not cooperate. So the officials are talking to Allegheny and Fort Hill players in the paint. I guess there's a discussion on uh, the algebra homework that's due on Monday. Ball out to Smith, runs it down, drives, tries to kick low. That ball's knocked away. We'll call that a shot attempt to give Owen Seifert his 12th rebound of this game. 6.35 to play, 58-33, ball over to Brill, pop out Palmazano. He's got Seifert, swings it over to Allen, Allen looking down low for Seifert, then 10, in instead to Daniels. Daniels drives, gets blocked up top, and the putback is there for Owen. Seifert, Seifert with 13 rebounds and now 12 points. Good defense on the first attempt from Schaefer from Allegheny, but the putback was there for Seifert. Fields wants to pop, won't go, rebound putback for Schaefer not there, and who else? Owen Seifert with yet another rebound. He's coming close to a huge night on the offensive and defensive glass. 14 rebounds thus far. 18 to shoot. Anthony Burns swings it over to Seifert. Looking out top of the key to Mikey. Nearly stolen. He runs it down and has the dribble. Uses a screen from Seifert. 8 to shoot. Behind his back. Swings over to the corner. Palmazano set three. Splash good. Tony Palmazano has five of the dime from Mikey Allen. And it's a 63-33 lead for Fort Hill here at home. 5.29, Fields drives, kicks to Dede Smith out of his reach. Turnover Allegheny, Fort Hill will get the ball back. Blake Powell and Caden Corpetting check into the game, giving Dede Smith and Caden Bratton a breather with 5.24 to play. 63-33, the winner of the 
West Mac Crown will be well crowned here tonight. It's Palmazano drives, kicks to Daniels. One more out to Burns. The three. Back iron won't go. Bodies crash. Isaiah Field still battling. Comes over the big board. Crosses the division line, and he'll draw a foul on Anthony Burns. With 5.06 to play, 63-33, and it is a one and one. Isaiah Fields to the line to shoot the one plus. Fields with 11, also has four rebounds in this game. Leading scorer for the campers. Fields makes the first. Of this now two shot foul. Both cheering sections in attendance here as Fields makes both. 13 from Isaiah, some full court pressure here from Allegheny. 63-35, ball back to Allen. Inside of five to play, swings it up ahead to Daniels. Ball gets knocked into the backcourt as Daniels runs it down and it's a 10 second violation. I think the ball has to be legally touched in the front court and the official rightfully calls it. So that is a 10 second violation. And Fort Hill will do some substituting as the Sean Brown checks into the game for Jabril Daniels. 4.53 to play. 63-35, bounce pass over to Ives. Chaz, top of the key, hands it off to Corpenning. Corpenning now to Powell. Top of the key looking, swings it over to field, sets his feet. Wide open three, it might have get blocked up top by Palmazano. Mikey Allen has the rebound. They come up the other way to Tony. Drives, we get a whistle and an offensive foul called against Anthony Palmazano. Tony picks up the personal and Blake Powell, nice job that time in transition to set his feet, take the charge, he gets the call. But with 432, Allegheny trying to make this more manageable with plenty of work to do here in these final four and a half minutes. Plow swings it over. Now to Corpenning. Nice ball work to Schaefer. A lot of contact. No call. Rebound by Brown. Brown wants to go coast to coast. Drives to the block. It won't go. Corpenning with the rebound. Outlet goes to Imes. Imes bounce pass to Powell. Powell works to the elbow. Kicks it back to field. Sets up a free three. Won't go. Rebound by Zay. His own. Little show and go. Fade away from six off the mark. Rebound by Mikey Allen. Allen will cross the timeline. Wants to go coast to coast. Drives. Poked away. Saves it. Gets it to Seifrith. And a little shovel. Scoop shot in and good for Owen Seifrith. He's having a big night. 14 and 13. Imes in transition. Splashes a three to answer for Allegheny. 65, 38, 3, 34 to play. Allen bringing the ball up the floor. Bounce pass goes to Brown. Sean Brown swings it to the elbow. Coming out to get it is Seifert. He's got Tony down in the corner. Hands it off to Tony, who hands it off to Mikey. 317, Mikey working on Powell. Drives down, left hand, draws a foul. And will go to the line to shoot two. 3-11 to play as Powell will pick up his second. Team's fourth, and Mikey Allen with a huge third quarter will shoot two. Makes the first. Allen in this game, a massive turnaround. Had 10 at the break. He's got 25. I'll make it 26 after he made that first free throw. And Allegheny will do some substituting here. Blaze Road Truck will check into the game. As will Thede Smith and Dylan Schaefer. 3-11 to play. Allen settles, makes them both. 27 for Mikey Allen. Big night for the Southern Utah football commit. Dayday Smith crosses the division line. Asks for help, swings it over to Powell, returns it back to Dayday. Down in the corner, drops it to Road Truck. Up, off the window, it's there. Blaze Road Truck with a big bucket turn and the big man gets off the window and into the book. 67-40, nice answer from Allegheny there. Allen works down on Smith, drives in, kicks low to Seifrith. Seifrith off the window, big body. As we get a whistle and a timeout for Fort Hill with 2.40 to play, it's a 69-40 Fort Hill lead. We'll be back after this.
440 to play here in the home of the Big Red State Championship banner, Fort Hill High School, where the Sentinels have a big lead late, 236 to play, 69-40. And Allegheny working with Landon Minky. Step back, baseline splashes for Landon Minky. Big bucket from Minky in limited minutes. He checked in just before that timeout. 2.20 to play. Jabril Daniels will cross the division line and drop it back for Perry. Perry drives, throws one up, draws a foul, and will go to the line to shoot two. Perry will shoot two, his first trip to the charity stripe in this ball game. 2.16 to play. It looks like the winner of this one will be Ford Hill to win the West Mac Championship for the season and then also host MPSSA 1A state playoff basketball games for the foreseeable future. There was plenty to play for here tonight. Fort Hill at home has held court as Perry splashes the second. 2.16 to play, 70 to 42. Powell works down in the corner, draws a triple team, throws it off of a set and it'll stay. Allegheny basketball underneath their own hoop here with 2.08 to play and the ball at the disposal of Blake Powell. He'll screen down on the block looking for road truck. Threads it out to Minky. Minky stepped back inside the arc. It runs long. Cameron Banks with the rebound. Checked in during the last dead ball. And the outlet comes up the other way for Sensible. Over to Perry. Uses a screen from Banks and an offensive foul called on the moving screen for Cameron Banks. Banks said that was a clean pick and roll ref but instead the foul will go against Banks his first turnover Fort Hill and Allegheny gets the basketball back here with a minute 50 to play and Blake Powell working the offense. Powell works to the right, bounce pass to Day-Day Smith. He's got baseline if he wants it, spins away, goes baseline, drives, we get a foul and we'll check to see if it is a two-shot foul or a possession foul. It'll be two shots for Day-Day Smith. Minute 42 to play, 70 to 42, Fort Hill leads here at home. Day Day settles his first, he splashes. Smith was a nice welcome addition to the Allegheny football team this past year. A stout defender and one that uh, Coach Hansel loved his tenacity, misses the second, ball off of Rotrek, and Fort Hill will get the basketball back with a minute 40 to play. 70-43, Sentinels lead, and Daniels will bring the ball up the floor. Swings it over to Perry. Perry up ahead to Sensible. He's got Banks down low, gets it to Cameron, turns, faces the basket, out to Brill. His three. Hiking shot, and he splashes it. Jabril Daniels with a big three that makes this a 30-point ball game. 73-43. Daniels once more nearly had a steal, and the ball ends up in the fifth row in the lap of a Braddock Middle School teacher. Little give and go to Powell, sets his feet. The three won't go. Rebound by Road Truck on one leg off the mark. And a rebound by Ford Hills, Gavin Carney, his first. Down in the corner, the three, splash good for Landon Sensible. Inside of a minute. And when you're on, you're on. Ford Hill has done just about everything right. Step back three from Minky off the mark. Ball poked out to Powell. Returns it back to Minky. Minky behind his back to the elbow. Fade away. Splash. Good. Landon Minky making that look just so easy. Step back. Fade away. As the drive. Daniels gets stripped. Last touched by Allegheny. 30 seconds left. 21 to shoot here. Ball to disposal of Daniels. Into Sensible, back out to Perry. Little give and go, back to Daniels. Free for three, fires, this one long. Rebound by Dede Smith in transition. Drives, finger roll, splashes good. Dede Smith with three. And with 15 seconds left, Ford Hill will hold on for the victory here at home. Final score. Fort Hill, 76, Allegheny, 47, put it in the book, the Sentinels are the West Mac champions and will host 1A state playoff basketball games for the foreseeable future.
Huge win for the Sentinels. 27 from Mikey Allen. 9 from Anthony Burns. 16 and 14 for Owen Seifreth. And for Allegheny, 13 from Zay Fields, 10 from Chaz Ives. Final score once again, Fort Hill 76, Allegheny 47. This is Garrett Egan signing off.